Dead meme. Do you seek the dark knowledge locked away within the Necronomicon? Or do you seek the power of ancient blood rites and rituals? Or are you seeking access to a realm of infinite darkness? Today, we'll cover that and more. All right, so there's a process to building up to building this portal. Uh, where we ended in the last tutorial, I showed you this blood altar, how to make it, not these runes at the bottom. So we're going to uh, start that process. It can take a fair bit of time. So I'm going to show you uh, just generally how we how I accomplished it. I would just throw um, a block in there as long as you have the blood pool with the sacrificial dagger. And in hand, you just kind of hurt yourself a bit. Don't let this go dry or it's it goes to waste. So you're going to be creating a whole bunch of these blank slates. You're going to need uh, quite a few of them, not just for the for this little framework on the outside. You're also going to need them for some of the other components. This is a big um, sink for food, like your uh, for health regen. You could build a totem here and do the healing magic to give you a hand, but that's like we're we're just covering the basics, how to do it, and the methods you choose. That's up to you. All right, so. Uh, the last video, we did touch on the smelter. We're going to need it again to make an apprentice orb. So we're going to need to get some coagulated blood. And it gets used in making a weak blood orb. And we're going to need this to make the runes that we're going to place around the altar. But don't worry, we're going to get a little bit deeper into that as we approach it. All right, so we're going to need to make a new kind of table. We need to make a casting table. And you could do this with the porcelain or the, the grout. Um, I choose the seared bricks. Uh, I cover it in another video to explain why. You'll build this. You'll need a spout in which to access what we're about to do. We are, are going to put some rotten flesh in. I believe we need six and that will automatically feed it. So while that is running, just to give you an idea, because my health is regened, you can go back to, of course, uh, you know, self-harm, <laughs> and just keep filling this thing up until you get enough of, the, of these orbs in order to actually build out your frame. And you'll need this orb that we're attempting to build using the coagulated blood in order to complete the next part. So you just spill it out onto this table and we need a little bit more. So we'll come back when it's ready. All right, so uh, it takes roughly four rotten flesh. You'll smelt it down and you'll pour it out. You've got your coagulated blood. So the next step, we're gonna make one of these orbs. So just like with the slate or those little runes we were making with the, with the rocks, just toss it in there and let it start working away. And you can just use the sacrificial dagger to keep your uh, to, to keep your blood altar full. You don't want that to run down because it typically interrupts the process. And of course, while this thing's running, we could use this opportunity because we're healing constantly to address any low nutrition. So if you were low on fruits or whatever, you can eat a ton of berries while you do this. And this sacrificial dagger, let's take a look at that. So very simple to make two pieces of bronze and a sharp bone. You just, to make this bone, you just smash it against a rock in the world. So you take one of these bones, find some stones, just like with the flint, and you flake it. So there we are. And there's our weak blood orb. So why did we make this? Well, I'll show you. Weak blood orb. All right. So we need to make these blank portal runes, or sorry, not portal runes, blank runes. We're going to make eight of them. We're going to place them along the outside of this uh, blood altar here. The one underneath does not require, just eight on the outside. So that means you're going to need um, 16 of those runes that we are, uh, this one, that we've been making using this stone in your blood altar. All right, so we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so we're going to tackle the Necronomicon. Uh, so that means we'll be doing uh, this advancement, the Abyssal Craft. 
So the Necronomicons, GEI related things, um, the plant cloth, I'll let you, you can just hit R on all of this to see where it comes from. But I'm going to just briefly remind you, you get this from the Shadowlands. So any, um, you get this drop from the Shadowlands and you can turn it into that. And that will allow you to make the Necronomicon. So the Necronomicon's got a power level. So you're going to need to charge it with some of these statues. We're going to get a little bit into that in a moment. So be right back. All right. So I'm in creative mode. I really try to avoid doing this in these tutorials. I want to show you the steps doing it in survival. But I want to um, not deal with these things while I'm trying to explain this. Uh, these creatures, we need to get their attention. I believe they're called a Shogoth. You're going to need to be able to kill a whole bunch of them. And basically, this is what their lair looks like. You're going to be running down any river base, and you're going to spot this. This is quite a challenging battle, for, uh, especially depending on the difficulty you're on. Uh, they will mob you. I'll show you what I did to handle them if you want to see a cheesy method. But what we need is these guys to be somewhere where they can be, where they can see the sky. And if they live long enough, they'll build an altar. They'll put a statue on top of it that you'll be able to harvest. So I'm going to move back to where I did my work and I'll show you what that looks like. All right. So I cheesed it out pretty well. Uh, I made them barricade themselves in. They can still get through that, but they just won't be able to swarm out of it. So I kind of tunneled into this corner and I aggroed them and I would fight them and kill them because I need the flesh that they carry to drop. As well, this stone, as you can see, I mined out portions of it in order to make the components for the next part. As well, when they, they built these pillars because they were able to see the sky, but they couldn't get to me. And that had a little statue on it. I'll go back and show them to you. But I mined up a whole bunch of this monolith stone. I killed a bunch of them for their flesh. And so I'm going to leave it up to you how you wish to tackle that. But you're going to need those components. Get that monolith stone, which is what they make their big pillars out of. Get the statues they put on top of them. And get the flesh that those things are made from. And then you can make all the next parts. Like it's, uh, it's a bit of a challenge, but you know that's what this mod pack's all about. Uh, I'd show it to you, but this video will be immensely long, so we're just going to keep moving. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about how to charge this thing. These statues you're going to acquire from the top of those pillars. If you do not happen to get one, uh, anything, you can still go about getting them another way. So you can create one by using all those various dyes you've been grinding up, a little bit of clay and monolith stone. You'll get one that's inactive. But to change it, you can get some Shogoth flesh, those scary black creatures in the river, and you can make an active version. There are a whole bunch. Obviously, the more of them you have, the faster your, your book's going to charge. And we're going to show you the, the charging method now, because you're not going to have this pedestal. Uh, you're going to, like this pedestal, you can make in a little bit. But uh, for now, you're going to have to hold it in your hand. And I'm going to have to, oh, no, it is doing it. So I'm going to collect power from these statues, and these statues need to see the sky, or they're not going to do anything. But there's a couple things to be concerned of. As this book's charging, uh, bad things can happen, like uh, groups of monsters will spawn, you can get like a curse, like a plague. Uh, I've got an old clip from a playthrough we did last time, but it was just like an instant replay clip, where I killed the entire farm. because. I got cursed and I ran by a chicken and then everyone died. So uh, just keep that in mind. Bad things can happen while this is charging. You can throw it on the ground as well, but uh, it's vulnerable to catching on fire and it'll be destroyed. So uh, just keep that in mind. We're going to move on to the next step. All right, so now we're going to make our blank runes because we need to upgrade this blood altar to make it more powerful. So. The blood orb that we made with the coagulated blood using this device, these runes that we've been making, you're going to need 16 of them. You're going to make eight of these, and you're going to make this formation, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so with what we've done so far, we'll have accomplished the Abyssal Trophy case. Uh, 
this is where we're targeting. We're targeting the beneath. So if we look at the beneath teleporter, we need some strange things and a bizarre crafting setup. So some of these guys, monolith stone, blank teleporter, this stuff's not hard to get. Charcoal dust, you can figure it out. The blank or the, the dark oak fence, this can be more of a challenge than you would expect, but I'll I'll cover I'll cover it for you. But this blank teleporter room, we need an apprentice apprentice blood orb. I'm sure you can work this stuff out, the block of coal. But this one. This material you can find typically in swamps, portions of the Darklands, and you're going to collect these little pearls. I'll uh, I'll get some from my bag and I'll show it to you. Okay, so I don't have any stored up, but I'm just going to show you this way through creative mode. This is what it's going to look like in the world. You're going to mine this up with a pickaxe, obviously. You need to get enough to make this. And then you're going to cover it in stone, and you're going to cook this inside of your uh, pretty much any cooking station will be fine and that will give you and that will give you this um this pearl i'm not completely sure how you'd say that i'm probably going to butcher it uh get enough so that you can make at least three or four like uh it's a bit of a ch it's a bit of a run to uh yeah found in the underground oceans or swamps so um getting to an underground ocean <laughs> getting underground or underneath an ocean nuisance swamp nuisance so if you come across this stuff mine up mine it up and store it uh, we happen to found find a swamp and that's how we got a hold of ours so just keep that in mind okay so we're looking at the blank teleporter rune you're going to need one of these pearls for the rune itself you're going to need an app apprentice blood orb so you're going to need a tier 2 blood altar that's why we went through the trouble of putting the runes around the blood altar that upgrades it to a tier two it requires um 5, life power i believe that's what lp stands for so uh, i'm not going to make this we don't want any ill-gotten one any ill-gotten apprentice orbs floating around but you would throw it in there uh you would just do what we've done before just give yourself a little bit of damage using the sacrificial knife and make sure this doesn't drain because it'll interrupt and you'll have wasted all of that food and energy and time right we're going to need to build this altar now this looks strange if you try to look these blocks up in jei you're not going to get anything so i'm going to show you the method and yes it is this simple it is a little bit of cobblestone we need to come two away on the on the cardinal directions so northeast south and west give it two spaces then the block and the ones on the diagonal just one space will be fine Take the Necronomicon in hand, hold down left shift, and right click. And this will create the altar that's required in order to create this blank, this teleporter to the beneath. As you can see, this, this formation is no crafting table that we've seen before. So now, since we've got this open, that blank teleporter rune that I showed you how to make using the blood magic and the apprentice, the apprentice orb, you're going to need that. It goes in the middle. The rest of these... It doesn't really matter the order they go in. The demonic will. This is how we made the blood altar in the first place. Monolith stones. We got them from dealing with the Shogoth that are in the river. These two, I'm sure you'll figure out. But this dark oak fence. This is actually probably one of the more difficult parts. I'm going to show you how to get dark oak in this mod pack. All right. So if you guessed we're turning to strainers to solve our problem... Throw it down in the chat. Uh, claim that uh, claim that knowledge and that reward. So I want to uh, show you something rather important. Hitting F9 will open up the chunk window. You'll notice that these two guys are on opposite ends of the of a chunk, and there's a nuisance here. So the wood I'm getting is birch wood in this one, but in this one I'm getting the acacia. So where you put these strainers in which chunk plays a role in whichever loot they you're, you're receiving. So you're able to acquire dark oak lumber by going to the right chunk. And it, it's a if there's a way to know before you put your strainer in, I have no idea what that is. But as you can see, this one's spruce. So 
And this one is dark oak. So the dark oak trees, there is a forest where they spawn. But it's not, it doesn't seem to spawn very often. It's out there. But I think that this method is the the better method. It's going to be a little bit more available, right? All you got to do is find a chunk that, that happens to be spawning it if you use a stringer. And save yourself the headache of getting lost in the world. I've set up the craft just as it was shown here. Uh, I'm not certain how important this is. But I do imagine it does play a role. So just try to get really close. So the teleporter in the middle, or the blank teleporter, along with the the essence. Now you'll notice I'm not using the one that they're calling for. And of course, we also need a thousand PE potential energy. You charge your Necronomicon over there. So hold down the left shift and right click. Nothing happens. So you must use that dark oak gate this gave us a real rough time the first time we didn't think it would matter and there you go a lot of bad things can happen during this ritual like weird monsters show up thunderbolts fires just be ready uh, don't uh, do it in a uh, in a bad situation okay so the obvious question that's being asked here we're going through a lot of trouble to make a portal to this place why so let's take a look here Remember this thing? This horrible junk that you could not automate and you had to sit here and hit the button over and over? Well, it's automated now with the components that you're going to get from the beneath. And now we'll just watch it turn away. No input for me. The only downside is it spits it on the floor. Be ready to uh, clean up your mess. We'll cover the rest of these machines later on. We're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. I just kind of want to uh, let you know why you're going through the trouble. Okay, so you're going to place this teleporter in the world. You don't have to do this. This is just flair that I like to do when you get on top of this. Oh, we have a guest. All right, so just stand on top of this. Hold down sneak, right click on it. The teleport to the beneath. We'll just briefly show it to you. Uh, I mean, uh, covering this is going to be a different video. This is already going a little bit long, but uh, this is for next time. It's a deep dark place filled with uh, significantly stronger monsters and resources that are only available here. But you know that is a that's a video for another time. And of course, to return, do the same thing. Uh, if you get ahead of me and you decide to run that dimension before I put a tutorial up. Uh, just get yourself some good equipment. Get some actual armor. I made a bunch of ceramic armor and it got beat up pretty badly. Some wolf armor. And torches. Lots and lots of torches. The darkness will literally hurt you. So, uh, other than that, we'll cover those steps very soon. Thanks again for showing up. And uh, since I have you here... Just would like to uh, remind anyone, uh, if you're not uh, liking and subscribing, uh, if you please could, you know, give me a bit of a, a hand. Uh, if there's something that you like about the video, leave a comment. Or if there's something I need to improve, because, like, I'm new to this, you know, we'll get better over time, you know, and you guys will give me some feedback. But again, thanks for showing up.